thing that really disappointed me about this formula drift pack. Try to run this outside line here. Oh, we are hecka close, partners. Welcome back today guys to the channel a set of Corsa here on the PC back again on Lake Louise now if you guys are longtime fans of the channel uh, we did a series last year where we took a formula drift car and essentially we would go head-to-head -head against any given track now I did quite a few of those episodes I personally loved them it was just a nice freestyle session and today we have yet another formula drift car man we've already used this before but it is a brand new track this is Lake Louise 50 kilometer run man this thing is huge we're gonna try to explore this for today see how we do ladies and gentlemen if you guys would like to see more freestyle vids like this don't forget to slap that like button if you guys did not already know we're using chris forsberg's 370z man nos energy drink for today car's a monster man any gear she will kick right out hold angle it's just a matter of throttle control and making sure that you're not overdoing it because this car you can easily overdo it man we're gonna see how we do we're just you know we're just gonna cruise this for a little bit just kind of get into the groove of lake louise it's a big track man and uh if i'm also mistaken uh there is tim hortons on this track I do believe there's some other hidden things among here but uh this should be a lot of fun man just ripping through Formula Drift, traction control is off, of course. Stability off. No help today, man. No help. And obviously, as you guys can see, this is going to be a ride. Uh, this thing is no joke. And I do believe that we have cosmetic damage on. So if I do end up crashing, the window is going to go with it. So I'm really hoping that does not happen. We're just, we're just getting the tires nice and warm right now, man. That's all we're doing. I don't know if you guys have used this pack or not, but... It's a damn good pack, man. I love the Formula Drift pack. Why is my mouse on the damn screen right now, man? Get the shit off. Trying to screw up my run, eh? Okay, that's fine. Fifth gear. Let's just see what happens, man. Foot to the floor. Ooh, man. We got some tight-ass sections up here. Could definitely be in fourth. Oh! Right over the bridge. Jeez, man, you really pick up speed so fast. You're not careful. Oh, we're gonna hit. No, no, we're good. You're not careful, though. You will lose it. I guess we're gonna go up this little. Yep. Right there, you can see it just take on a lot of angle. It's a constant fight, a little bit of throttle. Seeing what it can do. Fanatic handbrake working very nicely on me. If you guys do remember, I've been used to my old school handbrake, which is on my Thrustmaster, which is kind of just an input button. It's not actually a slider, as where the Fanatic one is a full slider. We are going to just bring it in slowly. Yeah, okay. Zero deaths, man. Zero deaths. Let's go. As PewDiePie would say, man. I gotta say, though. PewDiePie's content has grown so much from what it was. I mean, I don't know if you guys watched him throughout the whole process. You know, I stayed on top of it. You know, I I was subscribed to PewDiePie for a long time. And, you know, I would watch his content from here and there. And, uh, you know, he's grown so much and he's changed the game. And uh, just huge respect for that, man. Just killing it out there, man. Really doing his thing. You know, his content's evolved. I personally love his content. He doesn't even play games anymore, really. Uh, the last game that I watched him play was getting over it. Which I thought was extremely funny. But I'd love to know your thoughts down below, man. Are you for or against PewDiePie? This is a jump. Oh, we got it. We got it. That was a little bit scary, man. I forgot there was a jump there. Let's just go fifth. Here we go. I do not believe I have six gears, but we're going to maybe find a highway of some sort. I know. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, almost tapped the wall there. We're coming up to a, a few tighter spots. This thing is sketchy, man. It's I mean, it's predictable, but it's also not at the same time. Because you don't know when you're going to go too far. 
or if you just have too much throttle on it, but it's got to be confident in your car. The car will take you for Oh, what? No, man. I, I didn't even hit the damn guardrail. We broke the glass already. Shit. Let's see what we can do right here. Broken glass, unfortunately. We are doing a burnout up this hill. Damn, man. All right. I wish there were cinematic camera angles, though. That is really the only thing that sucks about this car. Or about this track, sorry. Sorry, man. I'm blaming the car. It's like the car's fault. It's my mistake. Now, what's it say? We're coming up to a sign here. Lake Louise. What does it say? Ski resort. Oh, shit. I mean, I'm all right. I'm down. Can we snowboard, though, is the question. Because personally... I'd rather snowboard. Not one time in my life, man. One time. I was fun, man. Hard as shit, though. It took me all day to get a good one. Come on, baby. Alright, now we're getting it right now, man. We got a nice, nice slick road here. Looks like nice paved. Tires are getting nice and warm. And we're going real wide. Thankfully, those signs are invisible. One break right there. Up, just slaying right now, man. The gloves are on. They're oh, gloves are necessary. I know a lot of people are saying, "Stop! Why the hell are you using gloves, man?" It just it, it works with the gloves. That's all I'm saying right now. These are actually Sparkle Gaming gloves. If you guys did not know, so they're actually they're not real racing gloves. I wouldn't be sitting here having my hands there melting inside them. I was using baseball gloves and then uh, Thrustmaster sent over these Sparkle Gaming gloves and they are nice. Trying to... I don't want to use the handbrake every single time. I mean, we don't need to. But it's fun though, right? I mean, it's not a necessity. I mean, we can just either do a nice little clutch kick like that. And throw it in. Ooh. Just love hearing that. Just, just calm down a little bit, right? Let's you know, get downshift. He's taking the sounds, man. We're in Chris Forsberg's 370Z right now. It's ridiculous, man. If you guys do remember in his FRS, and that was, oh my god, man. I will never have an experience like that ever again. Unless I build my own car, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying. But that man, he's superhuman, man. He's a great driver. I wish his car was in this pack. It's really the only thing that really disappointed me about this Formula Drift pack. Trying to run this outside line here. Oh, we are hecka close, partners. A set of courses. Oh, I really do. I mean, especially the modern community on here. I mean, you see it, you can do it. And I mean, there is no limitations on this game. I've been really in with some great Facebook groups, and people are just building some magnificent content. I mean, things that you would never see. Some new videos hitting the channel, I do believe, next week, uh, where we're going to be on a skid pad, actually. So I'm really excited for that. Stay tuned. We're going to do uh, the drift shifters as well, too. I don't know if you guys know that, but. Stick around, man. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. A set of course it usually does okay on the channel, so hopefully you guys will support that and continue to watch those as well, too. But if you're here watching right now, man, slap that like button. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Woo! Sixth gear. I'm going to get a quick sip of my coffee right here, man. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Jesus, man. I just spit it out. I had to. Wow, it's cold as shit. It sucks. I hate when my coffee goes damn cold, man. I hate it. Story of my life. What the hell is this on here? Boulder? Okay. Just drift around now like it's no biggie. Oh, yeah. Listen to the power, man. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Let's go, let's go. Inches. I was going to extend that right there as an yank the handbrake. That would have got me through that whole thing, I believe. Okay. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I just nicked it, man. Unfortunately, I can do that. Try fifth gear here. These cars are so easy, man. Literally, it's like you're sliding a piece of damn toast with butter on it, right? I mean, it's <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't even drive after that. Some stupid ass analogies. I'm sorry, man. But really, though, it's like the racing brand over here. Just killing it. Alright, we're getting pretty far. Uh, looks like that's a black hole of death. Is that what the hell happened? Man? Roads weren't paved, okay, but oh, we have an on ramp to a highway. Let's go, let's send it. Shit, alright. Let's try it again. Six gear. Keep an eyes on the speedo. 60. It is almost undrivable once I put my foot down all the way. 280. 300. 320. We're gonna have to break. We're gonna have to break. Ooh, that was fast. 320k? What is that in miles an hour? That's fast, man. Okay. I'm just gonna slow this down here and bring it down, man. We just. Just cruising it, taking the scenery. Look at this. Jesus, that car sounds nice. Sounds even better right here. God damn, we're right on the front hood. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. We're gonna just gonna uh, mash the brake and the gas, and let's see if we can get a nice third gear burn out here. Choice. Okay. I see you. Son of a bitch, right there. Throwing up the brass hill on us. Ah, uh, okay. So we're gonna have to do some Jimcon out here. Right on the on ramp. Let's get it. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, make it. Oh! Damn, I'm just trying to hold on to the wheel. Okay. I mean, it was looking good for a little bit there. A nice little section of the trip in here. What was that? <gasps> Two Mortons! Oh my god, I wish right now I could get a coffee. Oh, that'd be so sick. Do a little freestyle around Timmy's, right? They won't mind. They're every day. Uh -uh. We didn't go through that wall. Oh, it's been definitely another fun car to rip around here. Just, just freestyle, right? I mean, that's the whole point. That's the name of the game. And I'm so sideways, I can barely even see where I'm going straight. Whoa! Oh my god, that was nice. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it, but I figured I could get it. I'm going to slap a top it. I'm going to need a lot of break. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm going to just ram the shit out of that wall here. Pump drift? A little bit, man. I can feel the suspension just compressed right there. Downhill, yeah, okay, okay. Get the top of the line. Oh, no, no, no. Put that back in the fourth. Fourth is a little bit more stable, I feel. Oh, there's a damn dead bear. That's Fred. Oh, man. Nobody's cleaned Fred up since the last time he passed him, eh? Ruthless, man. 
I'm going in very hot. So, so, with that being said, uh, confirm, this car is fun as hell. Um, have we completed the 50k on Lake Louise? Hell no. That's long, man. But, look at the car control, though. We're just half on throttle. I love, I love this car, man. Wow. Driving like Chris Forsberg himself. I love this damn thing. Fanatic CSL Elite Wheel. Everything. Oh, what? We'll have links to everything down below, including uh, Wheel Stand Pro. Now, unfortunately, the website does not sell the chassis that I am currently sitting in, but um, they will be very soon. So make sure you guys keep a lock on them. But I will leave Fanatic and Wheel Stand Pro's website down below for you guys to follow. We're coming up to the uh, mounts here again. I thought we were already on, you know? Did we just do a massive circle? Alright, here we go. It's our last test of the day. Tires are warm. Just rub that rear bumper on there. I felt that. Ooh, I seen that. That was way too much. Okay. I'd love to know down below though, what is your favorite car from the Formula Drift Pack? Is it mine though? I don't know, it's a toss up between Bob Gitt and Chris Goldberg, to be completely honest. Ooh, Joseph Minova is pretty sick in there as well, too, with the Z36. Oh! What up, fellas? Oh my god, how you guys doing today? Okay, they're brave. The car can't scare a man. Good Good looking, everybody. Probably not the most uh, environmental friendly thing for them is uh, inhaling this. Probably shouldn't have left a fat peel in front of their face, right? They're gonna be inhaling all that, but that's okay though. Gas, 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 yeah. You really just decide where you're gonna go with gas alone and a little bit of brake, but sometimes like this where you need to correct and get into that corner. Whew. We're just whipping up here, man. This is nice. This is nice, man. We're just cruising. They do exist. This is a real damn spot. This car alone, it's hard, but it's easy. You know, it's fun all at the same time. And oh, look at this tunnel run. That was nice. Okay, it's a little sloppy at the end. Don't look at that. Spot. Okay. That was sick, though. Now, if there's anything that you guys think that I missed here on Lake Louise, leave it down below in the comment section. I'll try to get back to it for next episode. And oh, we got another tunnel. That's pretty damn sick, okay. Tall one here. Just gonna slide this in just enough to make that. Thank you. And look at this, man. This is our stop right here. Okay, we made it. We made it, man. I'm just kidding. I made it up. I made it up. But I'm parking it. And that's gonna do it for my ride today here on a set of course, and man. Big thank you for coming around for today. If you guys have made it all the way, don't forget to slap that like button, man. Chris Forsberg. Car isn't exactly the way that we got it. However, though, right? I mean, that shit will buff out, man. It's not a problem. Hopefully he doesn't mind. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.